What feels close to begging, but isn't? Okay. <clears throat> Asking for your money back was heavy on number one. Mm. Double texting. Du <laughs> I've double texted a few times in my life. I've done it way too many times. But these of. days, if you catch me double texting, I will double down. Mm. I, the, the second text will be, why are you ignoring yeah, me? Yeah. I love you, please answer. <laughs> Yeah, the double down will be heavy. Yeah. Number, oh, number three, asking someone to read the room before they act out. Please don't make a fool of yourself. <laughs> Long story short, please. Oh, before they act out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Being in sales. <laughs> I begged. When I was in sales before, <laughs> I begged. And it was embarrassing. Yeah. All I needed was some one person to be like, you're embarrassing yourself. <gasps> I would have jumped. Ugh. I Next. remember negotiating in David Lloyd for a guy to to sign up. So the last day of your, of the-, the It wasn't that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. but when I needed that commission, mm. yeah. I was going back and forth with an Indian geezer about whether he should have six free guest passes or seven. And I was commission like- Commission will do that to you. Yeah, I was thinking, is this where I'm at? Yeah. <laughs> is this where I'm at? Commission will yeah. send a man bro, over the and I'm edge. just there like, please, yeah. please. And he's like, bro, just what else can you do for man? And I'm just like, oh <laughs> my God. What was the commission stick a significant difference between six and seven? It was probably like, I think it was 35 pounds we had. <laughs> but you needed I the needed, 35 I needed, I needed every penny. <laughs> yeah. Fuck oh, man. Fuck off man, I right. hate it. Begging is right. It is. Uh, what feels close to begging but isn't? job interviews because please in it please in it bro i'm i'm giving you my all i'm selling myself literally Hire me. please take me i need that's what i beat. was saying on this is why i hate i the more the team grows mm. and now when everyone starts mm. i can't stand watching people on their first day or their first week Mm, okay, okay. Like okay. when Anna was in here the other day and you were like, just just asking like, oh, are you coming in on Wednesday? And she was like, oh, um, uh, I can. Yeah, it's a panic thing. Yeah. After you left, I was like, do not come yeah, in on yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was yeah. like, no, it's fine. I'm not mm. doing anything. I was like, you are. <laughs> it's a day. Do not come to London. You don't need to be here. You're saying yes because you're scared. Yeah, facts. You're scared. <laughs> you don't need to be scared. Oh, God. Don't come in. Yeah, damn. Oh, damn. God. It's oh, that's, that's so job factual. interviews, bro. That's so factual. Oh. Ugh, they what, go against my moral compass. I, I hate them all. Uh, what feels like begging but isn't? Visa applications. I've never, obviously never done one, but I bet. <laughs> what do you, what's even on there? Like why, why should we elect, allow you in here? I have no idea. Are you looking at me because you thought I've- No, I didn't think you, I know you were born here. <laughs> you were born here, innit? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yeah, but I'm assuming it's like, why should we let you? Like, what can you bring to our country? I know I applying to for a, a visa in Australia is supposed to be next level hard. Mm. If you're not like a nurse or- oh, It's what you can bring to the community kind of oh, thing. Oh, bro, mm. are you serving Australia or not? Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Man's okay. talking about fucking, yeah, like you, you do pottery or some shit. Yeah. They'll be like, Get fuck out of here. Um, you also have to, you have, if you want to work in Australia, Oh uh, yeah, they you send have you to the to fields. Do, yeah, they send you to the cotton fields, yeah. bro. It's fucked. That's yeah, they'll send you to, to, the, to, send you to the fields to work as a, on, on a farm for like a month. That's bonkers. You want to stay here? But then work. again, in Nige, uh, you have to serve for a month. Yeah, like you have to serve the country for a month if you want to work there. Like, it's does called, anyone want to work in Nige that bad? Well, there's money to be made in Nige. To be fair, swear. Yeah, there's oil and shit. So yeah. Oh, fair. Um, serve. Yeah, it's 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 called N. Is it called NYC? N NYSC. Google it for me, please. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called NYSC. National, National Youth, Youth Service, Service Corps. Corps. Yeah, so you have to do that if you want to work in Nige. Yeah. Mental. Mm. That's that's only if you're. Is that is that if you're from Nige as well? I believe it's only if you're from Nige. I don't know if it's if you are just like Ellis, for example, going to Nige to work. I doubt he'd have to do that because he won't survive that. Damn son. He won't survive that. Oh, I, just, I don't think I you would. I think the culture shock would ruin you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think it would ruin me. <laughs> I know it would ruin yeah. you. It was sweet. I would love to be a fly on the wall and see you do NYSE. Even I've never done it. I don't know what it looks like. It sounds boiling. <laughs> For starters, it sounds boiling. Boiling and malaria, non-free. <laughs> and you manage just so blunt. <laughs> yeah. I know my captain will be too blunt for my liking. <laughs> if we play the Nigeria poetry will come out. Yeah, yeah, It will yeah, come yeah, out, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, <sighs> I'm not having it. All right, cool. But anyway, back to it. Uh, what feels like begging but isn't? Asking for vacation days. Hmm. Making returns at the store. I just need, I need money back. Yeah, give me the money back. That was us first time going to Miami. Oh, the shoes? With the shoes. I remember. I ran to the store with it. Yeah. I made sure what the Macy's? box was in pristine condition. It was in Macy's. I know mm. it was. First of all, the shoes were hideous. They were terrible. And <clears throat> um, I remember, so for context for listeners, we've said it at least a hundred times. The first time we went to Miami, we were poor. Understatement. Poor. And there was a club we wanted to go to and the promoter was like, cool, you can come, but you're gonna need shoes. Like none of this trainer shit. Mm. You can't be wearing trainers in there. Go get some shoes. So we went to Macy's and got the most butters church shoes I think mm -hmm. I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Cause that's just all they had. Yep. And it was the only store that was open that time at night. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure it cost like $40. Yeah, I was gonna say 35, yeah. Yeah. And I needed to send that bitch back. Yeah. I yeah. had to send that bitch back. Cause we had no money. Cause the day we returned it was the day we were leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had I no the money. much money. We had yeah. no money for food. Yeah. yeah. At the airport. Yeah, we had no wow, much money. Wow, we had no yeah. money for food. Yep, yep, yep. We were poor Ellis. Yeah. So yeah. we returned the shoes. They should not have accepted mine back. <laughs> they I, were trampled. Yeah, I dusted mine yeah, off. Yeah, I, I cleaned the fuck out I of mine that morning. I mine off. They should not have had them back. <laughs> Gave my money back. I remember it being $40, ran straight to McDonald's in the airport. I was starving. <laughs> Wow, we were poor. Random, I can't wait for IHOP. IHOP. We had not done that in a minute. We hadn't done that in a minute. Damn, yeah. Uh, I've got a few more, I believe. Cool. Asking for staff discount that I'm entitled to. <laughs> I remember, I think I've told this story before, one of my boys, Jason, back in the day, used to work in Foot Locker and he had a 50% discount. I think so. And he dragged me all the way to Milton Keynes. Mm. And then I remember the day his boss was like, you can't keep doing this. Mm, mm, mm. And then when he told me I couldn't get the discount, he was just like, cool, like, sorry, but obviously still, you came all the way here, like, full get something in it. Couldn't find, I couldn't afford nine. I couldn't afford a single thing in that shop at full price. Times were tough, man. Really tough. I remember it got so bad, I started looking at socks and shoelaces. Just to see if I didn't have to leave here empty handed. And I was like, what, what's, what's socks going on? Socks and shoelaces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cheapest thing they had. That's bottom barrel. Yeah, bro. Because <laughs> I, I still need to afford the bus home. Yeah, facts. Ugh, dark, man. Damn. Right. <laughs> what feels close to begging but isn't? A cover letter. I hated those motherfuckers. Cover letters are bullshit. What's the point? That's a power play. That is a power play. And a cover letter is a fucking power play. And I've... I can say I'm pretty sure my brother's written cover letters for me before. Mm. I've never written a cover letter. Because that separates the boys from the men. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Because if you really want this job, you'll write stuff about yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want it that bad. No, I've never wanted it that bad. <sighs> Fuckers, man. Cover letters. Who's, also, who's ever employed someone said, I was, mm, I was iffy about the fucking, the CV, but that cover that letter. cover letter though. Sold it. Yeah, it took you over the edge. Never happened. I also saw what managers did with cover letters. Yeah. When we're going through CVs. Mm. Oh my God. I remember I went to a job one time. Yeah, once I started, I found out that all these niggas were laughing at my CV. After you got the job? After I got the job. How did you find that out? Because that's just what we do. Because when next, next man was moment, applying- you were laughing too. We were all laughing at CVs and I was like, Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> you start playing two and two. Like, did you man look at my CV when I applied? And then we're like, oh yeah. <gasps> oh, we, we framed that bitch. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we did. And I was like, are you fucking joking? <laughs> GDPR wasn't a thing then. Fair. And fair, I was like, fair. what kind of joke is this? Mm. Yeah, I was hurt, boy. Damn. Damn. All right, last but not least, what feels close to begging, but isn't. Are you still coming? That would hurt me. That would hurt me to write and hurt me to read. <laughs> Are you still, still coming? coming? 
Oh, that for God's that is begging. sake, bro. That's why you have to phrase it, them ones. Like, oh, still good for eight. Yeah, you still active or not? Still active, <laughs> like, because otherwise my mum's asked me yeah. to, so I just need to know. Yeah. Are you it? still coming? Ah! Ah! Peak. The, oh, the peakest. Peak. That was me and Van Store Chels. She canceled yeah. days with me every day. Are you still coming? And I was just like, still on. I used to ask her the night before. Mm, if she's still on for tomorrow. Still on for tomorrow, but we ain't linking till 8 p.m. tomorrow. That's how desperate I was. <laughs> <laughs> That's how pathetic and desperate I was. <laughs> Fucking hell. Anyway, guys. Oh, right, charging oh, it? Charging it, man. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Indeed. Good Patreon episode. Yes, love, love, love. Bye, Bye, yeah, yeah. Yeah.